They went to the Super Bowl in the 2000s, give them credit for that, Seattle Seahawks. Steve Largent back in the day, y'all don't forget that shit. Then we jump up, Dave Craig, I mean shit. Then you jump up and then all of a sudden, bam, we're going to go to the Super Bowl and win it, boys, for America. Apple pie and ma and everything else. We're going to come in here and get, ooh, look at there's Cam Chancellor. We're going to sign up Richard Sherman. Oh, we're going to get, here comes... Whoa, Earl Thomas, and we're going to go over there and get more sun wings, peace mode from the Buffalo Bills, and he's going to come in eating Skittles, we're going to go all the way and win the Super Bowl, we're going to tag him, we're going to jump, do gymnastics and everything else, get nervous, get going to all one, they done it, they got Pete Carroll, and you know they won the Super Bowl, they beat the pants off of Peyton Manning and won it, bless their hearts, and then they jumped up. And this fella just took all the credit for it, I believe. Russ Wilson jumped up, act like he just done the whole thing. He's the one just throwing interceptions in the Super Bowls, losing it for him. But he's jumped up like he's the whole franchise, and Seattle's all worried that he's left and went to Denver. And I'm telling you, the Broncos ain't getting much, because y'all ain't losing much. I think he's lost a little bit. Russ Wilson's always been overrated in my book. The defense is what done it. It was Chancellor. It was all those guys. It was Earl Thomas. It was Richard Sherman. It was all those fellas that done it. But we're going to look at this year's. And this year, they ain't got but DK Metcalf. They ain't really got much. Russell Wilson's gone, but they ain't losing much. It's a big, big, big year for them. Seattle, they ain't going to go to the Super Bowl, but they go to the beach and get laid. Yes, sir. Woo! And that's been my Seattle Seahawks preview for 2022.